My name is Jonathan Johnson. I'm the medical director of the Pediatric Heart Transplant Program. I really got into the area of cardiology and transplant um, during my training. I was actually originally going to be an oncologist. I wanted to take care of kids with cancer and who had long-term uh, needs. And I discovered cardiology and all the plumbing that goes with it and absolutely fell in love with it. But what I found in transplant was I found a way to mirror that love of cardiology along with the love of long-term care and in chronic care. And then really, a, a heart transplant's really been, it's my home. It's really a, a, a latched onto, really fallen in love with it. You know, patients with heart failure can present really at, at any age. And what happens often is that many of these patients have a familial form of cardiomyopathy or heart failure, meaning that there's a, a risk that other patients in their family may have the same thing. And not uncommonly, we'll see a child with a new diagnosis of heart failure or cardiomyopathy, and we'll screen the rest of their family and we'll uncover that their mother has the same thing or a grandmother has the same thing. We'll find out that cousins had the same thing but were treated at other institutions. And often we can piece together that genetic puzzle. Uh, the important thing about working here is that if we need to do that type of screening, if we need to get the baby sister screened for some sort of heart defect, or if we need to screen parents and grandma, we can do it all in one place. We do it all in the same echo lab, the same cath labs, the same uh, clinic areas and we can have them all seen at one day, um, not have to take too much time out of their work schedule and their busy lives, school days, sports schedules for teenagers, uh, and be able to make that all work for them. There's about 400 heart transplants performed in children every year in the country, and we do about five or six of them each year uh, here at Mayo Clinic Children's Center. Um, we did six transplants last year, and thankfully every one of those children are home with their families, and, uh, and we would absolutely love seeing them in clinic afterwards and seeing how well that they're doing. The, the great part about working at Mayo and, and working with the heart failure and transplant programs is that I have access to all the resources of a world-class program, um, both on the adult side and the pediatric side. So I can find world experts in every type of cardiomyopathy, every type of congenital heart disease, every type of pediatric disorder within one phone call away, and I can call them that day and get an answer for our patients. Um, our whole team is really set, a, set up to try to make life as easy as possible for you as you're going through this very difficult diagnosis and transition. And you should never feel like you can't get in touch with a nurse practitioner or a physician whenever you need to get a hold of them. Um, we really place an emphasis on that accountability as well as um, that relatability, being able to talk to physicians whenever it is absolutely needed. Um, our goal for all of our patients is that if they get transplanted as a child, I, I want them to be able to do the things that all children love to do. I want them to be able to play. I want them to be able to go to amusement parks. I want them to be able to play baseball or softball. I want them to be able to do the things that they and their families want them to do. And, and no matter what, that's the overarching goal of everything. No matter what happens, if there's any complications, no matter if everything goes amazingly well, we want them to be, be kids. And that's the whole purpose of, of doing a heart transplant, to get them back to being kids.